And to really test out the noise gate, we need some background noise. Hi, Matthias here. Today we're checking out SmartGate from Sonable. SmartGate is basically a content aware noise gate. So what is a noise gate? A noise gate is basically an effect that you use to reduce background noise. And to quickly describe how it works is uh, you have a threshold and then whenever your audio exceeds the threshold the gate opens and the audio will be audible. And whenever the audio is uh, quiet and below the threshold the gate will close and the audio will be muted. So a noise gate is basically very effective when you want to get rid of noise between your like spoken parts or between vocal phrases or between guitar phrases. It's a quite simple but extremely effective effect to clean up your audio recordings. Now if you decide to purchase a SmartGate after watching my video, please use any of the affiliate links in the description and that way you support my channel. Thanks! So let's take a look at what SmartGate has to offer. Okay, so whenever you open a Sonable plugin for the first time, you're presented with a tutorial and that's a great way to really get to know the plugin before you start uh, digging in and doing the hard work. So let's take the tour. SmartGate is a content aware gate that is driven by the activity of a chosen target source, not by the overall level of the input signal. Compared to conventional gates, uh, SmartGate delivers much more solid results and makes uh, parameterization incredibly fast and easy. We can set the target, so we can set the different uh, signal types like vocal, speech, guitars and uh, the plugin will uh, analyze uh, that type of audio for the specific settings that's suitable for, for the audio source. The main display or the main visualization shows uh, the gating function at the top. And whenever the line is at the top here, we will have an open gate. That means that uh, we have audio coming through. And uh, when it drops uh, to the lower line, the gate is uh, closed. And in the middle, we can see the activity function and uh, also the waveform. The threshold is controlled uh, with this uh, middle line. We can also set the level bias, which is basically how hard the gate will, will work. Then we have uh, attack. Uh, threshold percentage release and uh, hold time. We can also set a tolerance percentage which is basically the area between the open and the closed state so you can have a larger tolerance. In the bottom of the plugin we have band suppression. Fine tune the gating behavior in three bands so we have a low, mids and highs and a positive value will increase the suppression strength and a negative value will reduce the suppression strength. We can also set the global strength or the global impact for the overall gating processing. At the top we have uh, the mode for gating which can be set uh, to gating or uh, ducking. And ducking means that uh, if uh, the level goes above the threshold it will mute the signal. So it's basically an, an inverted gating function. And we have external sidechain input for the plugin. And the bypass and reset buttons at the lower left side. Now let's close uh, the settings screen and I need to briefly jump into my video recording software to uh, disable the microphone. Activate uh, the microphone in uh, my door. Right, so by default the uh, threshold is set to 50% and as you can see when I speak uh, at this volume all the audio comes through. Let's uh, try the learning function here because this is a smart gate. So let's uh, set it to speech and uh, talk a little bit while uh, the plugin learns the audio level. Right, so SmartGates has analyzed my speech and uh, done some settings here. That's uh, probably gonna work quite well for the speech. Great, so now we have all the background noise uh, cut whenever I'm quiet. It should be totally silent when I'm quiet now. Because in the background here we have a little fan and we have an open window, so we should have some like wind noise in the background. So let's hear all that if we bypass the plugin. Now you should be able to hear some cranking from the window and a little bit of wind in the background. So that's basically how a noise gate works. So now we have the noise gate activated and all that background noise whenever I'm quiet should be reduced to zero. Beautiful. So whenever you're listening to a radio ad or a TV commercial, there's always a noise gate involved to get that really tight and punchy sound. So let's see what we can do with the tolerance here. If we increase the tolerance to like 100%. 
now the gate should tolerate a much lower audio signal. But uh, as soon as we decrease the threshold and the lower we set the threshold, the more uh, or the lower audio will be going through the gate. And at 0%, no matter how quiet we talk, all the audio will still be going through the gate. And now listen closely, you can hear a lawnmower in the background. Right. And to really test out the noise gate, we need some background noise. And I have the perfect candidate here in the studio with this uh, Woods uh, AC cooler. So let's power this and see if the noise gate uh, or the smart gate can handle this in the background. To be honest, this is a quite extreme test because this AC cooler is extremely noisy and it's just about uh, two meters away from me here and the microphone. So let's try the smart gate learn function and see how it handles the AC cooler. Bam badam. So I will talk a little bit. As you can hear, the audio is jumping through a little bit. So let's increase the threshold and see what happens. There we go. Awesome! So we managed to get rid of the background noise with uh, SmartGate. Or at least we get rid of annoying noise uh, during uh, silent passages. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Hello! So if you have like background fans or uh, outside noise uh, going through your window, a noise gate is an excellent tool to get rid of all those uh, sounds in your silent sections. Right, so that's a quick rundown of the SmartGate plugin. Please let me know in the comments what you think. And if you decide to buy the plugin, please use my affiliate link in the description. And that way you support my videos. Hope you liked this video and I'll see you in the next episode. My name is Matthias. Bye.